Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode, Reading with Grandma. We're going to continue with our dinosaur stories. I have two for you today. What the dinosaurs saw, that was about the animals that are living then and they're still living now. They were living in dinosaur times and you can still see them around our times. And the other one is Daniel's dinosaurs. So let's get started with our lovely adventure. What the dinosaurs saw written by Miriam Schleem and illustrated by Carol Schwartz. All right. Come with me, we can see things the dinosaurs saw long ago. We can see a spider spinning a web the same as the dinosaurs saw. There were spiders? Way back when dinosaurs were alive. Look at, and there's a grasshopper. Two turtles resting on a rock, just as the dinosaurs saw. There they are, two spotted turtles. We can see wiggly worms, the same as the dinosaurs saw. And there's a big foot. Ready to stomp on those wiggly worms. Four little pine cones falling from a tree was something else the dinosaur could see. Five frogs croaking. The dinosaurs heard that too long ago. And there are dragonflies as well. There's the frog sitting in the pond. Six snakes sliding were something the dinosaurs also saw. Seven salamanders sleeping. The dinosaurs also saw those. They're lizards. They're kind of a lizard family, so that I can see. Eight gulls gliding. There were seagulls around then and there are seagulls around today almost like looks like a pterodactyl with their big wings nine possums prowling there's all the baby possums on top of mommy there were little mice and rodents and hamsters so yes possums would possibly be still survived from dinosaur times all these things the dinosaurs saw there's little froggies in the water there, and the salamander on the log right there, and the snake up in the tree, and the pine cones. Are, they are all still here for you and me to see. Turtles, worms, frogs, spiders. The sun that warmed the dinosaur still warms you. It was the same sun that was out billions of years ago. And the same moon that shines down on you shined down long ago on the dinosaurs too. And there's a little child standing next to a big old turtle. So there you go. The things that were still alive in the dinosaur times that are still alive, whether they're living or not. So that is what the dinosaurs saw. Our next book is Daniel's Dinosaurs. Daniel was a little boy that lived and breathed dinosaurs. Dinosaurs everywhere. This was written by Mary Carmine and illustrated by Martin Baton. Daniel loved dinosaurs. He loved big dinosaurs, and he loved little dinosaurs. And there is Daniel's room. Everything is dinosaurs. Pictures on the wall, the lamp, wallpaper. On his desk, there's toy dinosaurs. On the floor, there's toy dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs everywhere in Daniel's room. At the library, he read books about dinosaurs. When he drew pictures, he drew pictures of dinosaurs. When he wrote stories, you guessed it, he wrote stories about dinosaurs. 
Daniel's dinosaurs were everywhere. Two platyosauruses lived next door. They're playing tennis. A Cygnosaurus sat behind each checkout at the supermarket. Now, how would you like to be going to get in your groceries and giving a dinosaur money? What do you think? An Allosaurus directed traffic. And one unknown variety barked at him from behind a fence every morning as Daniel passed his passed by on his way to school. What kind of dinosaur do y'all think that is? You leave a comment for me. Let me know. It says in the book, unknown variety. So you tell me what you think that is. Daniel's teacher was a nice, friendly, plant-eating Diplodocus. She's giving the kids a swing on her neck. But sometimes she turned into a big, fierce Tyrannosaurus. I guess this is what happens when you get your teacher angry. Watch out, boys and girls. Your teacher's going to be a nice teacher one minute and a fierce T-Rex the next. I wish you'd think of something else, said Daniel's mother. Why don't we go to the city and visit the aquarium? That's a good idea, said Daniel. I like fish, but not as much as dinosaurs. It was a long drive to the city. All the way there, Daniel drew pictures of dinosaurs. A smiling Ceratosaurus took their money at the ticket office. Daniel and his mother looked at the rock pools, the seahorses, and the little fish. They looked at the stingrays and stayed for a long time. They looked at the octopuses and stayed even longer. Then they looked at the shark. And they stayed for a very long time indeed. There are also sharks that are in dinosaur times that are still living now. As they left, Daniel said goodbye to the smiling gray nurse shark in the ticket office. And off they went to go home so he could draw more pictures of dinosaurs. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's stories, Daniel's Dinosaurs and What the Dinosaurs Saw. Leave a like, a view, a comment, hit the bell. You'll know when I'm reading, putting up more stories. And you all have a super wonderful adventure wherever you go opening a book. Bye now.